What is up, people of the future? And today we're going to be talking about the two banners that will be replacing Nogwool and Flan. Now, if you guys are watching this video right as it releases, thank you for your support. And the game is probably still under maintenance, but we're going to be talking about the two units that are replacing these banners featuring Tamrin, as well as Haste, and then also about their artifacts. So starting off, let's actually talk about Tamrin. There's not much to say, except that she is pretty much a must-have unit for PvE. Her S3 starts off cool or on cooldown rather, so you actually have to take four turns actually because your S2 and S1 will actually reduce the cooldown of her S3 by an extra turn. But once you actually activate her S3, she is super super strong. Her S2, while in normal form, is just an AoE heal. In her idle form, her upgraded form, she'll actually increase attack of all allies, heal all the allies, and also CR push by up to 50%, which is insane. Her S1 is an AoE attack that will actually end up dispelling all buffs and trigger a dual attack from the ally with the highest attack. And the best part is, even though the skill starts on cooldown, if you bring a Seria, you can actually just S2 your Tamron and then your Shining Star, your S3 idle ability is going to be available pretty much right away as long as the Seria is faster than Tamron. Now for PvP, she has pretty much zero usage, but in PvE, she is used in so many areas of content. You can use her in pretty much almost every single hunt, almost every single... Uh, Expedition, you can use her in almost all of Abyss to be honest, you can use her in so much of Nightmare Raid, except you probably want to save her for Queen because she's so good there, and she's just going to be good pretty much everywhere in PvE, in Adventure Mode, in all the hard stages, she's a must have, just one of the best units in the game, if not the best for PvE content, which makes her a must pull. Now if you actually are hurting on bookmarks and you want to pull Kane, who's coming out in about two weeks, you can actually skip this banner and get Tamron from the story summon later, but I recommend pulling her sooner than later because Tamron is just that good, super super powerful, and just the best PV unit in the game. So talking about her artifact, Idol's Cheers, so this artifact is basically whenever the holder gets attacked, you'll increase the CR of the ally with the highest attack by 15% at plus 15, and at plus 30 it goes up to 20%. This artifact's pretty good on Soul Weavers, right? Mostly you'll see it on like... Uh, Rowanas, especially for defense teams. I'm not going to really recommend this for Tamron because you want her on different artifacts, but Rowana is pretty decent. Uh, but, but besides that, you're not going to really use this artifact too much. I think it's pretty niche. Even though it's pretty decent, there's just way better Soul Weaver artifacts out there, right? You have like uh, Guardian Ice Crystals, even though it's from a collab, very, very good. You have Soul Constellation, which is limited, but still very good. You also have a ton of non-limited options, right? Rod of Amaryllis is probably Tamron's best artifact. You can also, also use her on Magara's Tome, which is a four-star. Even Wonders Potion Vial can be very good in debuff heavy bosses. Uh, there's just so many options, so for that reason, I think this artifact is definitely worth skipping, and just pulling for Tamron is probably your best bet. Now talking about Haste, um, not really much to say. Uh, he's not that good, probably one of the worst units in the game, especially for 5 stars. Even though he got reworked a bunch, or I guess buffed, and then he got an exclusive equipment, still doesn't really help that in PvP, he's too reliant on his bleeds and his decreased defense, and it's hard to build him with high effectiveness because he's a thief, and he doesn't have any survivability, so... Uh, unlike Peyra, who can be built on high effectiveness and survive with their stealth, Haste just ends up dying. You want him to be fast, you want him to have high effectiveness, you want him to be bulky. Just very hard to build, and you're just way better off using that gear on someone else. And if you do that, his damage is really pathetic, so it's just really hard to actually use him in PvP. In PvE, he can be used in like Wyvern 13 one-shot, I believe, um, but there's so many units you can use instead of him there, so not really sure why you would. This unit's just an easy skip, terrible, needs a buff. Please buff him, guys. Um, guys in Smilegate, like, normal haste is terrible, ML haste is terrible, please just buff him. However, his artifact, guys, super strong. So Rihanna and Luciella, probably one of the best thief artifacts in the game if you have Peyra or Ran. You can see Ran uses it the most, uh, Karin and Vildred, very bad on it, it's just new players. And then you're going to see Peyra is second best with it. So basically the way th this works is if you have played Summoner's War before, it's basically like Violent Rune, uh, at the end of a turn you get a chance to get an extra turn, and this works on extra turn skills. So Peyra S2s into S3s, you have two chances to proc this. Ran S2s into S3s, you have two chances to proc this. And it's just very, very powerful because Peyra and Ran have very, very strong S1s, and because they're very fast anyways, they will cycle and get their S2 and S3 cooldowns back very quickly with this artifact. Now there is RNG involved. At plus 15, it's only 15%. At plus 30, it goes to 20, um, so having this maxed out is really, really good, but having this just at plus 15 works fine if you like to play Peyra and Rant. Now, 
Terra and Ran have other artifacts that are very good on them, but if you like to use them on defense teams for Guild Wars, definitely recommend buying one copy of this. It's their best artifact by far on defense because on defense, like trust me, this procs like 50% of the time. It's super, super annoying. So yeah, if you have Terra and Ran on defense, definitely recommend it. Um, if not, you can probably skip this, but I still recommend buying one copy because if you do end up cleaving and playing Peyra and Ran, or you just want to put them in your defense team because they're very good Guild Wars defense units, very, very good. But if you are hurting on Powder of Knowledge and don't really have, um, you know, like more than enough for a pity, like 240-ish, then I would recommend skipping this altogether because you'll probably end up pulling this eventually and it's not really a must-must-have um, compared to some other artifacts out there. So yeah, just to summarize guys, Haste, skip this guy. Uh, Tamarin, you definitely want to pull for her. Uh, for Idol's Shear, which is Tamarin's artifact over here, you can definitely skip this. It's just okay, don't really recommend it. And for RNL or Rihanna and Luciella, if you like to run Peyra and Rans on defense, I think it's a very, very good option. It'll net you a lot of wins. Like this artifact can win you games super easily. Uh, but if not, you're fine skipping out on this as well because yeah, there's going to be probably better artifacts coming up in the future, especially in the Powder of Knowledge rotation, like Elbrus is probably coming in the next or the one after rotation, um, so you might want to save your Powder, uh, but if, like I said, if you do like using Ran and Peyra, uh, this is going to be a good option for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, just wanted to give you guys something to watch while the servers are down, and hopefully you guys get lucky in pulling if you guys do decide to pull for Tamarin. Peace.